What's going on guys? Stalefish here again. Uh, going to do a little section here called Bassin' on a Budget. I'm basically going to make a, a swim jig out of a swim jig head, an old skirt. So I got a swim jig head, some old skirts, some stuff. I got Kitek swim, swim baits, which probably aren't the biggest budget part of the thing. That's probably the most expensive part of the actual swim bait itself for the trailer. I'm going to repaint this. Actually, I kind of repainted it a little bit already. I'm going to add some more white up on there. Then I'm going to two, two ton epoxy coat the head. One of the eyes ripped off, so I put a new eye on there. I'm going to put the skirt on there, throw a Kitek on there. And then what I do, one of my friends taught me this little trick. Take small little zip ties. Put the zip tie. Get your skirt there. Switch down. Of course, I'm having trouble with this one. Get it just about there. Gonna take the scissors, get up under there, and clip out that old, the old ring. Scoot that off to the side just a bit. that guy out of there so it's not in the way trying not to uh, rip all the skirt off while doing this on now that off. Get that zip tied up over in there. Tighten her down. Get as tight as you can. Let's snip it off. There you have it. Now your skirt's not going to come off. Get that zip tie on there. That thing ain't coming off. Fish ain't going to see that zip tie. After a while, keeping these things in your tackle box and stuff like that, the heat and the cold, it will uh, it'll deteriorate the little rubber bands that go around the skirt. So, we do the same thing over here. Throw a little bit, of, a little bit more white up in this. Cover up a little of that blue. Try to kind of blend it a little bit. Get a little two tone color. This thing is pretty beat up, so putting some new color on it. Do good. I could airbrush this, but I don't have all my stuff set up right now, so I'm just throwing some acrylics on it. It's a full paint in there, gotta get out of the way, get that lid on. So, do that basically. I'm going to do next. That don't fall off. Two ton epoxy. Small amount. I 
I always check these, check the bristles. I pull on them, the bristles are popping out, throw it away. Use the backside to mix with. Reason for that is if you have the bristles pulling out, they'll pull out and it will uh, stick to your bait. So when I'm doing like crankbaits and other stuff like that, I always check to make sure that these things don't pull out. You don't want to get halfway through it and they start pulling out on you and sticking in there. Doing a liberal amount on this thing because I want it nice and coated. I just used a funny looking googly eye because it was a big bigger eye and I used them on some other projects I had that weren't fishing lures and uh, the only one I had that was of size so the fish won't notice if they want to eat it they're going to eat it it's got a little bit of blue in there all I got to do is let that dry and I'll be back in a second to finish the video. Alright, so the head's dry now. The two-part epoxy's dried on it. Put a little bit of color in it. So what I'm going to do here, take this old skirt that I have off of a different bait. It's got a little bit of flash in it. Put that on like normal. You get your flashing. What I want to do again here is I don't want to lose my skirt. I've had them before to where I left them inside of my uh, tackle box. Got some different scissors here that'll actually cut this. Those other scissors didn't work too good. I left these in the, my tackle box before and uh, basically disintegrated on me. The little rubber bands. You don't want those little rubber bands disintegrating on you because uh, that's all bad. Then your skirt goes flying off and then you just got a skirtless uh, jig or spinner bait or whatever you're using. Really doesn't work too well. <laughs> Let's get this thing all the way down. Cinch it on there as tight as you can. Pop that excess off of there. Now that thing is not coming off. Try to push it down as tight as you can. A couple more little snaps out of that. Right down in there. Put that sucker off. Now you got your skirt. The skirt is not going to come off. The skirt will stay on there. If you want to change it out, just snip that thing off and put a different skirt on there. I like that's got a little bit of flash in there. Next step. Good old Kytec. I got the Swing Impact Fats. Oh, I got the big fat ones. 4.8 inch. These things look amazing. The kick on these tails are awesome. I love these things. Of course. Get your skirt up out of the way. Make sure your bait's sitting the right way. A little measurement about how far you want. Put my thumb there. Straight up in. Right out where my thumb's at. Push that sucker down. A little bit of red off of that old thing in there. 
And there you have it, pretty, pretty basic. Scoot that all the way forward as far as you can. Gives a little more room for that swim bait to uh, stick on there. I guess I should have pushed that forward all the way in the beginning. Still a little bit tacky, but it's pretty much dried. By the time I get out the fish, it'll be fully cured. I'm supposed to let it cure a little bit longer than I did, but that's all right. The skirt going right about there. Probably should have separated that flash a little better, but that's all right. Just wanted to do a quick little tutorial. It's not much, but you have it. Quick little uh, bait modification. This thing, it's got the eye eyelid on the top, which makes it swim a little bit different than some uh, swim jigs. I like this thing because I can drop down on the bottom and basically just pop it right up off the bottom. Throw it in the garbage and pin up a little work area. And we're done. Gonna go out and fish. I'm gonna go tie this on, hook it up, see what I can go do with this thing. It's a pretty good profile. Got some pretty big shad in the spot where I'm fishing, so. Oh. Gonna go do it. There you go, Urban Bass Slayers, swim bait, swim jig. Thanks for watching.